You're doing great. <sighs> okay, you're in. Good job. Good job. Okay, just stay with it. Wait, that was a fly over here. You're okay. You're okay. They're not even interested in you. The fact that I'm in there, it's just, it's overtaking my body. I can't even control my body right now. I feel trapped, like they're closing in on me. Okay, stay with it. Stay with it. You're oh doing great. God. You're doing great. It's just everywhere. <clears throat> I can't believe I'm in here. But they haven't attacked me yet. They would flutter by and land and flutter by and land, but never really attacking me. I can't believe it. I never would have thought. Now, what I would like to try to do is to capture one of your hands. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for that one yet. Oh, my god. Oh. This would go a really long way. Danielle has a little bit further to go on her journey that's going to be important for her to hold a moth so that she can fully overcome her fear of them. I'm going to give her a little bit of motivation. I have in my back pocket a letter that I'd like to give to you. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Thought I would just give you a few words of encouragement. Just think about what it's going to be like when this is all over. We could do things we couldn't do before, like going to the park more often. If you're feeling down, think of this. I miss you, you're my hero, and most important of all, I love you. From your love, Tia. The letter makes me pretty emotional. My daughter's telling me I can do anything. I have to keep going. I'm doing this for me and my family. I'm proposing you grab that moth. Oh, my god. <laughs> your daughter wants to go to the park. She wants to go camping. I don't want to let my family down. So as much as I am scared to death, I had to do what I have to do. I don't know if I can catch this thing. <laughs>